I'm Mike Barrell in Orlando at the TM Forum Management World with Andrew Valentine, who's the Managing Principal, IRN Forensics, Verizon Business. Andrew, thanks very much for taking the time. Thank you for having me. First of all, you're a, you're a law enforcement guy. You sure you're at the right event here? I certainly hope so. I've been uh, welcomed here and uh, folks have have liked so far this presentation or my presentation. So I, I hope I'm in the right place. Uh, if I'm not, it's still gone over pretty well, considering so. Yeah, can, can you tell me a little bit more about what you do for Verizon? I investigate data breaches, not internal ones, but, uh, but data breaches that occur all across the world for enterprises, small and large. Uh, in fact, our, our group, the uh, Forensics and IR group at Verizon Business has investigated eight of the 10 largest data breaches ever. What I, what I typically say to people is if it's in the newspaper, if you saw it on CNN or read about it, probably we're the investigative firm that's working it. And the, the sort of companies and the thing that the TM Forum bring to the table, can you tell me about uh, how that plays into what you, uh, what you do? Absolutely. I think with, with data breach, the largest issue uh, isn't firewall implementation, it's not managing IDS, it's, it's awareness of the issues. And you'll find that in a lot of circumstances, folks just don't really understand anything beyond data breach is a bad thing. Yes, it's true. Uh, data breach is a huge issue. Data security is a huge issue. No organization wants to be in the headlines. But, but beyond those very basic understandings, there is, a, uh, in a lot of ways, a lack of awareness around actually how to manage uh, what knowledge and information you have inside of an environment to, uh, to actually close the doors, keep bad guys out. And so that's what this, uh, this presentation was about. And what can the industry do more to help you achieve your objectives? So again, it's about, uh, it's about leveraging uh, knowledge and information. So what we do at Verizon is uh, any given year we work several hundred data breach cases and at the end of the year we'll aggregate data points, uh, who the bad guys are, what they're doing, what they're stealing, how they're doing it, not just for our own cases, but with the United States Secret Services caseload as well. And at the end of the year, we'll publish our aggregated data points in what's called the Data Breach Investigations Report. It's released annually, uh, and that, that document, which is free and open to the public, is used not just for Verizon to uh, better improve business practices around data security, but for basically anybody, uh, telcos included, uh, to learn off of the mistakes of those organizations that suffer data breaches and build better security practices themselves. What are the main inhibitors from a technology perspective uh, that you want to see uh, or you'd like to overcome? You know, it's a funny thing. The, the, those folks that believe that, that new and improved technologies can solve their security problems, I tend to find uh, don't understand the technology and don't understand their security problems. When you look at the data breaches that actually occurred, they're all based on fundamentally simple things. Uh, bad guys breaking into networks because the default password is in place or that the, that the perimeter password is password, uh, that there's remote desktop applications that are in place that shouldn't be. It's always very basic things. And just raising the awareness around, hey, let's, let's have a, a password enforcement policy. Let's turn off remote desktop applications. Those very simple things would prevent the vast majority of data breaches that occur. And so it's something like this. We just want to bring awareness to those issues to the forefront. Andrew, thanks very much for taking the time today. Very, very interesting job you have. Thank you for having me. I do appreciate it. Pleasure.